Um, is there anything else you wanted to say about that match or about what happened that day? Uh, no, it's all good, you know. I'm uh, motivated to do this, this next one. Feeling great already, you know, feeling ready. And like Galvão, Kainan, all the guys here helped me a lot, you know. It's, it's really helped me, you know. It was a really good decision to be here, go out of my comfort zone, you know, go out of my home, go out uh, far away from friends, from good friends, from everything, you know. I feeling like uh, I am uh, I feeling the same thing when I was like a purple belt, you know. Like everything uh, for me, this is the only thing important for me, you know. Here, I don't have to drive my own training, you know, you know, I don't have like to keep calling training partners to train, you know. Uh, everything uh, I need to do here, it's eat, sleep, uh, train, eat, sleep, train, think about training, study. So uh, I'm feeling good in all aspects, you know, and uh, I can't wait to, to show up on 25 February in my best performance and uh, calar all the haters. <laughs> how, did that, how did the match come, come together here, this next one? Was there ever a time where you were like, man, I don't want to fight this guy anymore, like, let me move on? How did the, this new match come to be? Yeah, no, not really. Like, uh, I'm a fighter, you know, it's what I love to do is training, you know, so uh, when I see a challenge, on my, on my, on my front, you know, that always motivate me. So all my life is uh, was about that, you know, is challenge. If I see a challenge and they say, oh, I don't want to face that challenge, and I double to myself, like, oh, I don't think I can do this challenge. I sh I would not get where I got, you know, like I would not win any any challenge. So. I think that's the fighter life, right? Like when you see a challenge, you need to believe, go forward, do everything you need to do to achieve that challenge. And that's it. That's what I'm doing now. Did you call Michael or Blair and say, hey, let's make this happen? Or how did it go down? Yeah, like uh, on the last match, we already signed something like, oh, I'm going to do this one, but I want a rematch, you know? And this was like a condition we did before the match. So uh, for this next one, right after DCC, I, I think I test, I'm not sure if it was Michael or Ricardo. I said, hey man, that match, let's make as soon as possible and everything. And they, they said, yeah, let's do it for sure. Uh, when you think it's a good date and they said, as soon as possible. And then we talk and figure out like February would be the best date. How did you decide then to, to change up your training camp? And I, I was already thinking about that, you know. Like, um, after Guado match, the last one, you know, I still like really sad for a long time. I was not sure if I was doing DCC. I was not very motivated to train, you know. But since that match, uh, I was very, very motivated to do this match again, you know. So I said, uh, everything, when something bad happens, you know, you need to stop and figure out what you need to improve, you know. And I think uh, training in my hometown, uh, there is some things that was missing for me, you know. Like, uh, pretty much three things. Like, first thing is that I am my own teacher there because I do my own training, you know, I push my own training in my, in my gym and everything. And I was missing, like, be a student again, you know, like, go to a place that uh, someone just going to tell you what to do, you know, like, do this, do this, do this. And everything you need to do is be there as a student, learn and train, you know. So that is one thing. The second thing is about, like, training partners, you know. I have really good like training partners there, like uh, purple belt, brown belt, like even world champions and everything. But uh, I was missing like uh, a black belt, like really high level, 
heavy, you know, to to go out of my comfort zone, you know. Like there, if I sleep bad, if I eat bad, I still can go to the training and be good, you know, like comfortable. Uh, but training like uh, with Kaina and many other guys here, you know, like if I don't sleep before the night, if I eat bad, or if I drink or anything like that, and I go to the training, I gonna they gonna beat up me, you know. So have someone to put you in uh, out of the comfort zone, like to put pressure on you every single day, every single training. It's really important. I was missing that that there, you know. And the third thing is about I don't know, man. Brazil, it's such a, a good life, you know. I have a, such a good life. I'm very, very lucky in all, all ways, you know, in my life. Like, I have, like, good friends, family, friends. And I have such a good life there that sometimes this take it out your focus, you know. Like, being somewhere outside your hometown, Nothing matters, you know, you don't have all this distract anymore. The only thing matters is your goal, you know So here like I'm eating better. I'm training better. I'm sleeping better In our ways I'm focused. I'm more focused, you know So like I said, I'm feeling like when I was like purple belt living with Romeo, you know Like go out of my comfort zone. Just follow everything Romeo does, you know, if Romeo said Felipe, to be a world champion, you need like eat shit. I eat shit, you know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I just want to to win, you know. And that's it. I think it was the three things that were missing for me, like the couple years. And I still can do good, you know. But uh, for this fight, I need to uh, go 100% in everything. So I think it was a really good uh, good choice for me.